Little Willow, you're late. So prepare yourself to die with this crazy leg hardcore workout. We're gonna get you some huge tree trunks for legs. Come with me, we're gonna work in supersets. So in order to start this total destruction and mayhem, we're gonna start with an exercise called the front squat in which you put some weight in front of you so that you'll have some core tightening during. And when you put the weights on, make some noise. Arnold Schwarzenegger's tip, you know, the Terminator. So the first superset will be front squat and Bulgarian split squats, all in a rep range for hypertrophy. After I do this, you're gonna watch my cameraman ectomorph Louie doing its turn with a lighter version for So let's start with the front squat. I'm gonna do eight repetitions. So mind you that if you do 300 pounds on the front squat, you're gonna lower the weight considerably right now because you wanna do a rep range of eight repetitions. You're gonna do three supersets with about 90 seconds to 120 seconds, so two minutes rest in between. So let's start this shit off. Three, two, one, go. So front squat. Ooh, so beautiful, so beautiful, so nasty. One, two, three, four. So this was 200 pounds, eight repetitions. I'm gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the right leg in front, left leg behind. Keep a nice, controlled 90 degree angle with your front leg. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Ooh. Never fully extend your front leg. Always keep the tension. This isn't CrossFit. You're not doing full extension because you want to keep that muscle with peak contraction throughout the whole movement. Two, three, four, five. Take your time. Six, seven, one more. Your turn, you bastard. All right, Louie, you grab the kettlebell. What matters is that you grab some sort of weight that you can handle for eight repetitions on your front. So you wanna go all the way down, keeping the heels on the floor. And mind you that the knees will go outward while you're doing the exercise. Go for eight repetitions. Yeah. Nice, all the way down. Good, 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 good. This really makes you go hard with your core as well. Keep that 90 degree angle. Straight posture, all the way down. One, yeah, two, make it hurt. Three, your body only responds to effort. Four, five, it doesn't really care how many repetitions you do, it cares for effort. So make it fucking hurt. That's it. Nice, now shake your legs, shake your legs. Grab a couple of breaths. Yeah, grab them with your hands. And now switch your legs. Yep. Ooh, nice sneakers. Let's go all the way down. One, two, keep that 90 degree angle. Three, yeah. The butt is doing a lot of the work, especially to maintain your posture. That is very important when you're doing this Bulgarian split squats. Remember, it's a minute and a half to two minutes. And now, as a rest, it's, uh, it's my turn. So I switched the 45s for 35s. What I really love about this is that you leave the ego at the door. 
because when you're doing supersets, you're working your cardio and your conditioning as well. So each superset will have about a minute long, will be about a minute long. So should I do cardio, Willow? Yes, you should. When you're doing the supersets, it's more than enough cardio and conditioning for you. So now we're gonna do, the first exercise is gonna be eight reps of good mornings. So you put the barbell on your back, high bar, you take it out of the rack, and from here, it's, it's like doing a deadlift with your legs just slightly bent because you want to really feel your hamstrings. So now this superset will be based on the hamstrings. Really feel what you're working. It's going to be hip width apart and your feet are going to point towards uh, the front, to the front. So go all the way down as if you want your chest to touch the floor and your butt will be drawn backwards. Oh, like this. Oh, feel your hamstrings and squeeze the glutes at the bottom, at, at the end. One more. And now you're gonna ask yourself, Willow, couldn't you do more? Couldn't you put more load on the barbell? Of course I could. But you're not thinking straight because you don't know what comes next. And what comes next is with the mad ball, mad ball! Leg curls. <sighs> Place your heels on top of the ball, a little bit outward, not really, really, really in top, on top of it. And from here, uh, uh, arms by your side, lift your butt up and go all the way backwards and then to the front too. Really squeeze those leg biceps, those hamstrings. Four, five, we're gonna do 10 repetitions, six, Seven. Oh my God, it feels so good. Eight. Oh, so good. Oh, one more. Oh. Ooh. This is one of those that will sting in about 30 seconds. 30 seconds passed, you will really feel the pump. But now it's time for the ectomorph. Oh. Yeah, you little pussy. You little pussy. Okay, let me catch some focus. Okay. Good, 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 good. Back rack. Walk away, a couple steps. Your feet will be fo pointing forward, hip width apart, and now drive yourself down. Okay. See the neck? Don't go up with the neck, keep it neutral. As if you wanted to look at me, at, at my feet right now. Yeah, like a couple of feet on the floor. The look, I mean, that's good, that's good, that's good. Feel those hamstrings. Don't overbend those legs. It's not a squat. Yeah, that's it. Yep. It's eight, eight repetitions. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. Wow, that's it. How does it feel? It feels halfway done, right? Now go to the ball. Go to the ball. Go to the ball, you little bitch. Let's go. Nice. Remember, put your heels on top of the ball, but not really in the middle. A little bit outward, yeah. Deep, deep into the ball. One, two, remember it's 10 repetitions. Let's go all the way. Yeah, five, let's go. Six, a little slower, a little slower. Mind muscle connection. Feel those hammies, feel those hammies. Pump those motherfuckers, let's go. Yeah, that's it, nice. I bet you never felt those hammies in your life, you <laughs> My turn. <sighs> mm, it hurts, it hurts so much. But now, for all you tough guys and tough gals over there, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do a finisher. This guy too. We're gonna do a Tabata, which means that we're gonna do 20 seconds of work and then we're gonna rest for 10. And we're gonna do eight rounds of this. And we're gonna switch between one exercise, exercise A and exercise B. The A will be little jumps, always alternating the legs, uh, like step up jumps, alternating. You're gonna watch it uh, on the tire and I'm gonna do it on the box. And we're gonna alternate it with squats on a 90 degree angle in which you feel your quads the most and gonna stay there for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna keep alternating in between these exercises in order to finish those eight rounds total. Let's go. Go.
want to be able to work out their all their muscles in the in the midsection in a way that's gonna help them not only develop great six-pack but to be better in sports and to be more athletic so we're gonna give you four exercises